Welcome to this live stream tonight. <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm <coughs> sorry about that. You might have thought if you was waiting that I'd forgotten, but I haven't. I've just been dashing around trying to find a couple of ingredients so I can make this particular thing happen. At the moment, I'm halfway through making a cup of tea as well, so let's just finish that off. No live stream can happen without a cup of tea present. Not in my experience, anyway. So, that might have been just ever so slightly unprofessional of me to uh, be dashing around like that at the last moment, but um, I thought I had loads of time, but it turns out I didn't. Now, um, if you've uh, had a look at the thumbnail for this tonight, then you may know that I'm going to make what I'm going to call traffic light bread. It's a rather silly idea. So I'm going to have three small bits of bread in the colours of red, green and purple. And that will be a challenge. No, not purple. Um, red, green and yellow. Amber. Yeah. The easiest way to do this will be just to use food colouring. But that's a cheat. And it's boring. And there are so many things that naturally are those colours that it would seem a bit daft not to take advantage of them. Again, with this, not really much of an idea how well it will turn out. It might just be disgusting. It might be really good. And it's the... It can't really be disgusting, can it? No. It won't be disgusting. But it might not be brilliant. In fact, it probably won't be. It's not going to stop me from having a jolly good go. First of all, though, well, I see that quite a few people have already turned up. So uh, I'm going to say hello to you all, and then I'll crack on with getting the bread. Remember the bread last night? If anybody was here last night, how much bread I had and how much there is now? Not that much. That's because I did homemade pizza and garlic bread. And everybody liked the garlic bread so much, I had to make some more. Otherwise, there'd be a bit more bread left over. So, the worst case scenario is I won't be wasting loads of bread because there's not loads to waste. Uh, Crichton Roberts, yeah, oh, hello, I joined the stream yesterday. I remember that very well, Crichton, thank you for coming. Uh, Jimmy Quinn is here, hello, Jimmy. Uh, hello, Captain Mustard, how are we tonight? Um, okay, just did a bit of a dash at the end there, that's all. Uh, you started a live the same time as Classic Britain. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure whether I should apologise for that or say, okay. Didn't actually know that Sheldon was doing a live. Anyway, this is a very different kind of live stream altogether. In fact, you could say I'm not... I'm only competing with this live stream with people that don't even know. Whereas um, if it's Carstuff, then obviously that's a different matter. Uh, mustard, uh, you ditch the beard. Well, of sorts, yeah. Yeah, the trouble is, the colour of that beard, it was making me look a bit old, and it kept getting pointed out to me last night, and I started to feel self-conscious. That's not true, of course. Uh, I really do really care. But uh, every now and then, I do like to get rid of the old beard uh, to remind myself that I do have a face underneath it, and I... I yeah, like I said, I'm not really, I'm not really too bothered about concerns, uh, uh, image and stuff anyway, as you know. Uh, but you asked if I have ditched it, but clearly you can see it's not on my face. Okay, right, um, <laughs> Barry Squatter, evening all, now then, what's going on here? Uh, is there a body for like that? Oh. Is there a body format? But I don't know. Lost Soul. 
asks, are you trans? Uh, as in transsexual? No. Um, that's a strange question. You can quite clearly see I'm a man. Or do I look to you like I might have been a woman at one point? I would have thought that uh, I just don't really look that way at all. Let's get the grotty bit sorted out first, which is, of course, uh, the bread thingies. So we have in the stainless steel bowl enough, I hope, for three small bread rolls, which will be the start. Let's divide it up into sort of three some flour and milk dabs. Yeah, that's not exactly what you would call a big one, is it? And another one, not a big one. And if you were here last night, you you may know that um, I made this bread, uh, so it could be left overnight, so it could improve its flavour. And it works exceedingly well. Try and get the last of this bread out of here. Just bung it on with that one. I'm not really too concerned about uh, anything that consistent in consistency. You just don't like to waste, even though it is just flour and water and yeast. Let's get rid of this. We'll put some water in this and soak up some of the flour. It might not be too difficult to wash afterwards then. One second. Just give me one minute. One minute. And I'll be one minute. Right, I'm back. And so is, or so are, some more people. So let's carry on. I'm not rushing any of this. I like to just properly take my time, greet my guests, my viewers, and um, try and make you feel a bit welcome. Yes. Uh, oh, all right, quite a few people there then. Uh, all right, yeah, he's an automatic step speed, says uh, Neil. Uh, women with beards. Uh, is that your kind of thing? Uh, tell it Scotland women with beards. Uh, are you really there, Captain? Asks Pingu Concord. And the answer to that is, yeah, I am. I'm really there. Well, for me, I'm really here. So I can't really be there, can I? I can't be there and here at the same time. Uh, waving Crichton Roberts. Should we do the same thing again as last night? Anybody new comes along or anyone who requests can have my rating out of 10 for how good their username is. And Crichton Roberts, of course, is quite a good one. What did they give you last night? I think it was seven, was it eight? Bad Books is here. And Bad Books made me think of that because Bad Books, I would also give a seven out of 10. And how's the bread today? Asks Pingu Concord. It will get a solid eight. Crichton got an eight. Uh, it is. It's good. And it's going to get more good, like really, really soon. As I start to mess around with some ingredients. So we want uh, a green loaf of, well, roll. And we want a yellow and we want a red as well. The easiest one to do uh, is, I think, oh, I know I'll do it. I'll get a bowl. I'll do it in a bowl. Because the it's going to end up with some ingredients flopping about everywhere and making the right mess. Which one should we go for first? What is the top of the traffic light? 
it's red, isn't it? So my idea was, of course, um, tandoori. This is the most complicated one, although it shouldn't be, but this is the one with the most stuff going on. We have a bit of uh, tomato puree as well. We don't overdo it with this particularly. Uh, so I could use a bit of sumac and or chili powder or paprika. So, uh, <clears throat> yes, actually that is, we'll put that there and we'll put in a bit of, so this got a tomato bread. So bread and tomato and tandoori masala. Oh, might be a bit too much there. That's about as red as it gets, really. This stuff here normally associated with fish sumac. It's very, very dark. And we'll add a bit of olive oil in here as well to help the mixing process. So now I'm kind of kneading in a bowl. You need a bowl for this thing, but will it be red enough? That's the thing. Or will it just be uh, just pink? It's going to be just a bit pink, really, unless I really, really overdo it with the stuff. And I don't want to actually overdo it because then it wouldn't even be any good at all, would it? So you can see the progress there. It looks a bit like chicken. A piece of chicken, which isn't entirely surprising, is it? Because that is what you would do with uh, the, the chicken, doing chicken tikka, would be to roll it around in a bowl like that. So I think it's not as red as I'd like it. My hands are more red than this, actually. But I'm going to stick it on the top there as the, ah, the first part of the traffic line. Now the only other issue now is that my, if I don't wash my hands I'm going to get red in the yellow one so I'll just have a quick wash of those. Washed. Before we go on to the yellow one. Now um, yellow Easiest solution for this is going to be turmeric. Turmeric by itself isn't particularly interesting, is it? So, as well as turmeric and a bit of olive oil, of course, I'm going to add some cheese because I like cheese. I don't like cheese and everything, but. Um, it gives it, my hands are still red actually. Just quite rough with the cheese here actually. Gosh, I love cheese. Cheese is really. You should always be. Highly suspicious of anyone that says they don't like cheese because that's just not natural. Cheese is fabulous and it's amazing. This is actually going quite well, I reckon. So, making well, that's one of the things actually, turmeric is it really does stain stuff. So I'm definitely going to have uh, what looks like smoker's fingers afterwards. That will do, I reckon. <laughs> right, and let's wipe some of this stuff on there. Just put it on. And wash my hands again. Although it won't matter too much with this because, of course, well, I mean, yellow just kind of comes be green, becomes green. Uh, 
Before I do the green one, I'm going to read some comments out. Just wash my hands again. We have 76 people knocking around tonight. Now, last night, um, how could I not come along and do another live after last night? It was fabulous. 3,200 watches in all. Not at any one point. Gosh, my hands do look yellow, don't they? <laughs> That's strange. Uh, yeah, that many people. It was uh, astonishing, really. I'm really very, very grateful for anyone that turned up. So let's uh, do some more hellos. Um, Pingu says, I, have, I had to have a Domino pizza tonight. Now I feel crap. That's a shame. I, my pizza was fabulous. This is the thing, actually. That's, that's just the kind of thing I should have, have done another live stream on. But how many can you do? How many is uh, too many? How many is too many? Probably that amount. And I don't want to be doing too many. Besides that, I do have a family to think about as well. They might be feeling a bit neglected if, <laughs> if as long as I'm home, I'm doing a live stream. Lots of videos uh, of Rustful going about. Oh, I bet there is uh, Barry Scrotter. And I didn't go down there. And I would have been doing it. Actually, good night. Last time I went to uh, the car show, the last car show I went to, I didn't do a video. I took a picture of every car and then I just had like a, something like a, a 10 second video <laughs> showing every single one. Great selection at Rustival. If your must, oh, there's a point. Well, mustard's yellow as well, isn't it? But not quite the yellow I was after. If ah oh right, if your mustard wears the ketchup, says no one. Doing reading glasses again already. I've only just started. I didn't want that to be happening particularly, but I don't want to get people's names wrong, especially when they're new and they don't really know what's going on. Um, uh, note the unknown. Uh, no neon, no, no neon, no. Bad books, yeah, sure. Real cars, oh, well, not just for show queens. Take mine next year. Yay, cheese, says Pingo, Concord. Hoppy. A hoppy. Is that in hoppy beer? Hoppy says hi. Hi, hoppy. BB a little bit. Huh? BB a little bit. Oh, bad books, yeah. I like the Triumph TR2 uh, with the gaff tape seats. You're the best, says Hoppy. Gosh, that's quite a nice thing to say. I love that. I'll accept it. And even um, suggest everybody else says the same thing. Not that they're going to. And here we have Windy Miller, who says, This looks like some sort of informative stream. What are we learning? And the answer is to that, not a great deal. And more reassurance that I am the best from Hoppy, which I appreciate. Bread making, but not bread making. Well, actually, um, I'm looking forward to, to what this is going to look like because it will look quite kind of different, a bit cool, actually. The old traffic light bread. It was just an idea I had when I had to pop out before. Oh. Sup, Ricky, Dicky, Barry, can't make bread. Tried loads of times, it always comes out rock hard. So I've given up. I can't make pasty. Pasty? You mean pastry? My hands are too hot. Do you like roller coasters? Asks Crichton Roberts. It's been a very long time since I've been on a roller coaster, but I guess, yeah, I probably do a bit, actually. I mean, why wouldn't you like a roller coaster? Roller coasters are great. How is the weather today up there in Scotland? It was just a bit on the rainy side. So much so I couldn't go out and do anything that I did want to do. 
Uh, oh, are you from Scotland? What's cooking mustard? Ah, Stephen S. Paul. Do you like Drake? Asks Savannah. Drake? What's Drake? Don't know what you mean. But Fart Face, that's a good name. No kilt today, mustard. No, no. Back in the comfortable pants. The kilt um, is being dry cleaned. Do you have a dog or a cat? Asks uh, Hop Hoppy. And the answer is no. No, I don't. But I wish I did. And Princess Nadush, Nadush, OMG, you are a wizard. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see how much of a wizard I really am. Looking forward to that. You greet me, says Poppy. Yes, I did. Pendulous Knocking. Probably my favourite new channel name uh, of all. Uh, well, hello there. Lovely cooking mustard man. Thank you very much. I wasn't going to... Great, I wasn't going to great deal, but it's reassuring to know that it's not something I should be doing. With a forecast in Scotland today, windy up the kilt, says Barry Squatter. Oh. <laughs> uh, Princess Nadrush says, uh, OMG, I've never, I've never saw a real life wizard. I see all the hate, all the haters, wizards are real. They are. Can we see your fish tank? Uh, also, Drake is music. A uh, music artist. Uh, yeah, okay, it's get asked quite a lot, this one, actually, for the fish tank. There we go. We can see the fish tank. I'll just carry on reading these, and then um, just get back to the bread. Right. Okay. Has your bread fully risen today? Asks Pendulous Knocking. It did do. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be that well risen, Afterwards, once I just do this. PN6, PNI691, bing bong. That's a good one. Fart face, can you answer the question, please? What question? But I will answer it. But please bear in mind, anybody new, if, if you put a comment up or a question or something, and you can see that I'm doing lots of talking, it might take me a while to get to it. Hi there, says Peggy Bedolf. Greetings from Amsterdam. That's lovely. I mean, it's, it's always nice when somebody introduces themselves and tells me straight away where they're from. You have a new beard. This one is smaller than the last one. <laughs> is it wool? <laughs> Thanks, Wendy Miller. I like that. Good evening, Mustard. My friend, says John Studley. Uh, Chris Bowen, another great stream mate. Thank you. Smelly Hole. Ooh, traffic light bread, something that's traffic light coloured. Dick Dastardly is here. Hello, it's Captain Diddlybeard. And Hoppy asks how old I am. That seems to be quite a popular question, doesn't it? Mm. Right, well, I caught up with these comments. I'm, I am uh, 54 is the answer. 54 is the answer. Right, this pop this back down here, remove the old spectacles, and get the dabs grubby for the last time. Because we are going to do the green, the green bread. Green Green bread, actually quite easy because um, of all the colours of things, green is the one where there's the most green things you can do green things with. Let's start with a bit of olive oil in there. So I have a choice of things. And one of them is coriander. If I put coriander in there, that's quite green, isn't it? Another thing could be Parsley, that's very green. Another thing would be green chilies. They're nice and green. Or the easiest one of all, probably pesto. So I am going to use pesto and something else. 
but I'm also going to put in, just for a bit of variety, some olives, because I do love an olive. Why am I using this now? Should be using this sharp one. Now pesto. Be careful that you don't end up with more pesto than bread. green chilli as well. Now where's that knife? The green bread's going to be the best one, isn't it? Because it's got more stuff going on. It's only if you don't like chilli or pesto or olives. You won't like this bread. And quite a lot, but I don't want to put two chilies in a piece of bread that size, that's for sure. Now I did consider using this as well, but let's go mad. Let's put a bit of parsley in as well, because after all, I do want this to be properly green. Not just a bit green, but like stupidly green. The kind of impossibly green colour. Oh, there's another thing. Horseradish. I did mean to put horseradish in the cheese bread, but I forgot. And that's because I was doing this in a rather um, disorganised fashion. So, for the last time now, this evening, I shall get my dabs full of oily stuff. As you can see, they are, they are now yellow from the previous bread I was making, which is the turmeric and cheese bread. And now they're going to be rather excitingly green. Gardener's bread. Gosh, this is good. Oh, well, do you know what? It's not turning out quite as green as I thought, which is a surprise. But I can rectify that by simply putting in a bit more parsley. And I think I shall actually do that. This is the grossest one so far. Ooh, that might have been too much parsley. There again, parsley is a nice, subtle flavour. And you can't really ruin anything that much with parsley. <clears throat> Which one of these breads do you think is going to be the tastiest? So I reckon I reckon it's gonna be the green one. Right, quick, wash the old dabs again and I'll show you what I've got. hand washing in this one. Right, so we have <laughs> red, yellow and green bread. Ready to just stand and, and rise so when it goes in the oven maybe they'll turn into quite nice buns. Let's have a recap on what they're made of. The red one is uh, sumac tandoori masala and tomato puree. The yellow one is simply cheese and turmeric. And then the green one, chilies, pesto and parsley. I think this was a good idea and I'm glad I've done it. Let's put another couple of bits away here. Got a few, quite a few things I didn't even use as well.
be brilliant if this turned out to be one of those regular kind of foods that uh, work. Might just have a bit of a slight sip down here then. It's a bit tough on the old back doing this quite often, you know. Oh, hang on, I almost reported somebody then. I wouldn't want to do that, would I now? Shall I read some comments out? Have you got any suggestions or anything else? Because ideally I want to leave that bread there for a good, probably, oh gosh, wow. Maybe 30 minutes, I reckon. I have to get the old glasses back on again. Uh, oh, Rupert's here. Uh, no, we're not doing free Palestine stuff, I'm afraid. Oh, right, there's quite a lot of uh, comments on the go. Wow, there's a lot, isn't there? Right, okay, let's go from there. It's one went down in Cheddar Gorge. Um, uh, well, I'm only going to read out comments that are speaking to me or asking questions because lots and lots of people will actually talk to each other, especially when they know each other, and it's a bit pointless me reading that out. Uh, Dick Dastardly says, well, I've never heard it called that before, whatever that might have been. For green bread, you might need peas from Barry, and that is a good point, actually. Imagine using peas, pea bread. I don't think that would work too well, and I'm never going to try it. Although, saying I'm never going to try it might actually just give myself a kind of a challenge to try it, because I don't like the idea of it. I don't, I don't like the idea of it. Do you know what? I'm not even a fan of peas particularly. Mushy peas, I don't trust. Uh, garden peas, they're just a bit uh, kind of almost pointless. Uh, and then those, those other kind of peas, the... Um, Processed peas. They're horrible. My name is Hoppy because it's my favourite character, says Hoppy. Where's that from? Is it from a game? Oh, right. Well, Wendy's asking that as well. Hey, Dick Dastardly. I prefer Tinky Winky myself, says Pendulous Knocking. My favourite character is Chippy Minton. I'm enjoying watching your driving adventures in Wet Leg. Looks like great fun, says Pendulous Knocking. And it is. It is. Uh, yeah, because I, I did another video of that one last night. And uh, <laughs> that's only part of it. Because already uh, ready for uh, just editing, I have another video about the same length from the same car from the next day. So I've got quite a bit on the go here. Is... Oh, Hoppy is a game called Poppy Playtime 3. Rupert's here, and Hoppy's... All right, okay, that one again. Poppy Playtime, that's a game, that's, that's scary. I'm not familiar with this game, Hoppy. Is it a PlayStation? Nice and colourful. It is a nice and colourful bit of bready goodness, although goodness is probably not the best word for it because bread isn't really that good for you, is it? But some of the ingredients are such as turmeric. Turmeric's good, cheese is good, pesto I reckon is good, parsley's good, uh, chilies are good as well. Uh, known as but mustard, what is sumac? Well, um, it's, it's this stuff. Um, can I read this on the back of there? It's... Uh, Well, it's kind of like a, a berry. It's like a red berry um, that's just crushed up for its uh, colour and its flavour. It's a very subtle flavour, but I'm sure that it's um, used quite a lot with fish. You don't really want anything that's got a great deal of flavour with fish. Ah, I just realised something. So this is the thing. I wasn't really prepared well enough for this. Five minutes before I set the live stream to go, no, what well, five minutes before I knew it was about to go, 
they're starting thinking, oh, I best organize these ingredients. What I should have done is actually put them in separate piles and actually made my mind up beforehand. Even if it didn't look like I'd made my mind up, I actually didn't anyway. They look great, says Crichton Roberts. I hope they will be. I, I like them too, Dick. I like Pew the best, but it has to be Pew, not Pew. And a decent portion too. What? Barney McGee from, oh, this is a rather interesting and curious conversation. What's in the little basket? Oh, um, do you mean that? If you mean that, I'll tell you in a minute. Don't think they're really in the baskets, are they? No, they're not. Hello. Windermiller wasn't there for a rave tune with two. Cool girl, one, two, four. I, can I see your fish again? So, yeah, there we are. I, if I could um, or put that there so you can kind of see the fish and me talking to you, then maybe that would be the best way. Dibble is not a bad start. Oh, Ray Oaks 4 says, hi. Barney was good until his wife left him. <laughs> can I see your fish? Yes. Uh, is that only for fans? Ray Oaks is high again. I'll tell you what, I mean, I do like new people coming in, but they can be incredibly impatient. Just, just wait. I've only just saw a comment and a bet. It wouldn't surprise me if you've already gone because you didn't get to see the fish quickly enough. I always thought the techno type was good. Uh, Cool Girl says hi an awful lot, actually. There are lots of meat alternatives made from peas nowadays. Some are pretty tasty. But do you ever find yourself thinking, what is the point? I reckon Cool Girl wants to see the fish. Have you seen them so far? Happy Casual Shoes. Can you please say hi, uh, Gemma, for the live I've subscribed? Yes, I can. Hello, Gemma, and thank you for subscribing. Bye-bye. I've got to come up in a bit. Okay. Yep. Bye-bye. Oh, apparently Windy Miller knows cool girls. <laughs> you have inspired me, sir, to get some nuts. Dry roasted, of course. Nuts are brilliant. Nuts are the best thing for the evening when uh, you get to that point where you get just a bit peckish and you need something. Nuts do the job. In fact, uh, they do the job relatively cheaply as well, considering half a bag of nuts would be enough to fill you back up again. Cool girl 151 is best avoided, apparently. I have a computer too. Perhaps I will play this game whilst eating my bread. Red berry okay, yes. What are you doing because I don't know, asks Hoppy. Well, uh, hang on, I'm not sure who is and who isn't, but there we go. That, ah, oh, of course, well, that wouldn't be a good thing, would it? Imagine if I went to all that effort and then just dropped all the bread on the floor before it even started rising properly. But there we go, traffic light bread, which will be going in the oven relatively soon. And you're careful not to slap that down because when you, if your bread's rising, you slap it, it, it makes it collapse again. <laughs> uh, do you like anchovies, Captain? I do like anchovies. I like the flavour. I'm not never really too keen on fishy bones. Small fishy bones, they're never particularly good. Can you please say hi for Gemma uh, in the live? I have done. I have done happy casual shoes, but I'll say it again. Ah, the hello, Gemma. Uh, can you live... Can, do you live by yourself, asks schoolgirl. No, I don't. I don't. I have a wife and I have two children. Average... Uh, Sukhoi fan. Sukhoi. Jesus is king. Apparently. Amen, says Western Weaver. How many cars do you have? Asks Pendulous Knocking. Well, personally, my own personal cars is actually five. And then there are a few that I have part on 
with the with well that chat that you know of called quality. Mine are the best ones. DG you what have you saying? Bye, I have to go to my friend's house, says Hoppy. Well, thanks for popping in. I hope you've had um, a reasonably okay time. I hope you've found this to be too unpleasant. Thank you for being here. How about doing some supermarket item reviews uh, or comparison reviews, says, suggests, skick. And it's a good idea. That is a good idea. Uh, anything food or drink related, I would have a go doing uh, on this. Uh, not on this particular live stream, but uh, I, I will do more. Uh, do da hi de we go says Western. Hey, can you say uh, U W U or is that Uwa Uwa? Uh, yeah, I have done. I don't believe the fish are real, says Christ Roberts. And I know you're joking, but some people would actually think that kind of thing, wouldn't they? Look and go at that. They're probably uh, they're probably not real. Maybe that's actually just maybe it's it's just a big TV with an extra edge on there. But we can see that they will follow my fingers around. If I put my hand there, they'll start wandering over because they think I'll have a snack for them. And I haven't. But it's, it's on the top there, there's some fish food, which I'm not going to give them because they've already had some. They've already had enough. Which Newcastle are you from? Wonderful Horseshoe. Uh, the Australian one, uh, or the Geordie one, or the proper one? And that question is aimed at, I don't know, from Windy Miller. Western Weavers doing some more. Cope, cope, de buy, de die, de I'm not sure what you're talking about there. Oh, wonderful horseshoes there. Wonderful horseshoe. Hello, wonderful horseshoe. I might have missed you, actually. Uh, oh, whoop, rip, so. <laughs> Bye, Hoppy. Come again soon. Yes, do come again soon. Poppy, if you've already gone. Pistachios, big bag last all night, so satisfying. They are the brilliant uh, pistachios. Wonderful horseshoe. Have you ever met Jimmy Nail or Johnny Tack? That's the assumption, because if, you, if you're from that area, you must know everybody who's been there. We know what it's like. It's true. Yeah. I don't think I would either, Jimmy. Nail is my favourite famous Geordie, followed by Gaza. Bundles of Joy. Hey, can I have a shout out, please? Yes, Bundles of Joy, you can have a shout out. Welcome to the live stream. All right, yes, yeah, Sting is a Geordie as well. Fortnite Squad, hi. Shout out, please. Asks Bund We're going to have the same thing again, aren't we? Uh, now this, that... Shout out, that shout out to the point where you start shouting it out. Oh, just have a bit of patience. Robot fish, wow, love your fish. Shout out, please. Done it. Oil up, says yeah, buddy. This live stream is not real. We're just sharing it for a similar, we're just sharing a similar fantasy. Says Pendulous Knocking. Oh, I forgot about Sting. He's a good one, but I think I'll stick with Jimmy and Gaza. Perhaps Sting is number three, but it's a close call between Sting and Jeff from Biker Grove. Good one. Nice one. See what I mean? PK. What's your opinion on the W16 engine? Asks Crichton Roberts. Uh, well, which one? <laughs> Which one's the W? Oh, the, the Volkswagen W16. I don't have an opinion on it because I've never experienced it. I've never driven a car that has that engine. And, you know, unless things change rather rapidly, I probably never will. Psycho Skin says Escargo with a question mark. And no, there are no snails in the fish tank. And I don't have any interest in having any snails in the fish tank because I don't really like snails. What about making spam pasties next time, suggests Chris Bowen. What about not doing? I'm not a fan of spam, uh, either the meaty version or the um, unsolicited uh, male version. Neither are good. Bolty, 
Can I have a shout out, please? Yes, you can. I hope you haven't gone already. Boaty, welcome. Uh, oh, Boaty, Boaty's world. May I ask someone who is here for the first time if they're enjoying themselves? <laughs> I wonder if this is a warm and inviting chat to be in. Good question, Windy Miller. Well done. Goofy Vids, what is your favourite car? Well, my favourite car is... Actually, at the moment, it's an MGF. An MGF is my favourite car. I can't... I can't imagine enjoying a car more than an MGF. So that's my answer. Deep fried Cadbury's cream eggs. Oh, it's a suggestion. It's not a bad suggestion, actually. It's the kind of... Oh, that's the only trouble with wearing glasses for a while. You, your eyes properly adjust to not being able to see what they're doing normally. And then suddenly they really can't see what they're doing. And trying to read this now really would not work at all. I would be completely bonkers to even give it a go. So what I probably need to do is do a bit of reading, then have a little bit of a break and step back from the screen and uh, remind people what they're doing here in the first place, which is to observe the ready traffic light of unbelievably weird destination. It's a strange one. Will it be good? Put your votes in now. They're not rising quite as much as I'd like them to do. Maybe that's partly down to the fact that I keep on picking them up and putting them back down again, which isn't really that advisable. But actually, um, suggestions for unusual food ideas I'm definitely up for. Many years ago, my brother and I did a disgusting food challenge where we we've concocted maybe about 10 things to mix together that you really would not want to uh, have together. And it was pretty horrible. But surprisingly enough, some of the things that you would expect to be really horrible weren't as bad as some of the things that are just normal ingredients. Possibly the worst thing you can eat is a cardamom pot. Take that on as a challenge. Just a single cardamom pot, that big, great in curries, great for flavouring, but you don't eat the pods, do you? But try it. Buy a cardamom pod, buy some cardamom pods, bung one in your mouth and see what happens. I guarantee you won't really enjoy it. And that is, after all, what this is all about, isn't it? It's about doing something that you hate for some unbeknown reason. Does anybody think I've done the wrong thing by getting rid of some of my beard? <clears throat> I'm going to leave the bread um, until 10 to 10 to 10. And then I'm going to bung it in the oven. In the meantime, let's go back and read some more comments. Some of these fabulous comments. Some of these wonderful comments. You know what happens? Uh, again, when I have lots of new people all coming at once, uh, it wouldn't be good really if I could actually read those out first, just so they don't get too impatient. Quite clearly, some of them don't know how live streams actually work. Uh, and the numbers are going back up again. There were 67 viewers. Oh no, 58. They've gone again. Oh, right, okay. Where was it up to? Ah, right, there we go. It's Windy Miller's rather interesting and curious comment. Uh, and then, yes, it's lovely. Wonderful horseshoe. I'm going to give that, that um, name a six and a half out of ten. Yes, just found this channel while flicking through loads of crap. And that's interesting that you're stuck here as well. So I really do appreciate that. Uh, Aid McLaughlin, I like your fish. That's good. I like them too. They're rather friendly and they're rather colourful. That's good. I'm pleased you're feeling welcome and happy. Uh, and thank you, Wendy. I, I, I really appreciate um, you being such a, a community-minded uh, channel um, uh, regular, I think. Can my, can my snails all I have a shout-out, please? 
<laughs> That's brilliant, right? Uh, but they're not all called Brian, but collectively they're called Brian. Hello, Brian. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, Dord Valslick. Valslick. Vol Valslick. I think that's how you pronounce that. Dord Valslick. You can uh, correct me otherwise. Says your heart. More of those, please. Pendulous Knocking says, I believe you may be the only Camp Jesus cooking live on YouTube at the moment. That is probably absolutely true. Uh, you could go searching. Not that I put Camp Jesus in my tags or anything anyway. Perhaps I should. That might help. And I put mustard on there. So Camp Jesus, Camp Jesus, the hairy Paddington. I might as well use them all up. Mustard, what do you think of fresh roe from the chippy? This all right. You know, I like fish and chips, but I'm not mad on it. I mean, really, unlike a curry where I could eat curry every, every single day, gladly and not get bored with it, I could only really imagine a chippy once every couple of weeks. Uh, oh, I know. Windy Miller asks, if they said you could have your face on some money... Would you choose a fifty-pound note or, or for the Presties five-pound note for exposure? That is a typically excellent question from Wendy. I would go for the. I would go for the. I'd go for the fifty-pound note because that is that's you. You're going to be seen enough, I think, off of that. All of us have done some bad things, says Dord. Barry says, mustard. No, I think you should cut the bottom of the remaining beard so you have a short goatee. Is there something you need to tell us, Dord? Asks Windy. And we're all thinking that at the moment. Uh, Ky Crichton Roberts, have you ever played Fortnite? And I haven't. Is it? I, I have no idea what it might be. Uh, there is okay, Dodge. Well, you're welcome to. You, you don't have to do, but you, you can tell us what what's going on. Captain, did you leave Chasley EU in Prince Andrew? No, I didn't. Uh, with good reason. Uh, that is that um, the ECU is um, that as much fun as they are, they ruin the fuel economy and they're not really very good for the clutch. And Boaty wanted this car for fuel economy and he does an awful lot of up and down hills and I thought I don't really want him coming back to me and saying the clutch is burnt out, so I took it out. Scouse Tony, Eric Clapton on crack. That's a good one, I like that. Oh. I presume you're talking about me. Eric Clapton's much older than me, by the way. And I would imagine he's more likely to try crack than I am. Or at least it would have been. It's not my kind of thing at all. Uh, you put right, okay. We are oh, right. I see. Dord, Dord uh, suggests we should repent. Uh, and Windy, like some of us, may be um, in the same mindset of what for? Uh, for sins we have committed. Matthew uh, Huter. Is that how you pronounce that? Huter or Huter? I hear it there. Matthew you Don't be offended. Just correct me. And he says you. Um, Asterix. Right, okay. Ah, so you're referring to sin in general rather than specific sin. Points out windy, which is uh, very good and very, and no doubt, very accurate as well. Repent for the sins as we have committed. Blimey, that would take a while. Yeah, you've got some naughty stuff going on, have you, Dick Dastardly? Uh, I reckon, really, Dord, that the whole thing of repenting sins that you just uh, normal people sins like being born is, is not particularly good. I think it, you know, I think it's rather negative, really. If, you, if you've done something really bad or really wrong and you, you want... 
uh, to feel less bad about it, fair enough, but feeling that you've, oh, hang on. Uh, no, zoom back there, that's better, isn't it? You don't want my face that big, do you? That would be awfully scary. Miles Adams um, says free Palestine, and that is kind of a bit spammy, but I still read it out. I mean, lots of people are saying free Palestine, but there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I can do about it at all. I am not actually Jesus. If we, pe if we repent, does that clear the slate, asks Windy. If it does, it's worthwhile doing, isn't it? How does one go about repenting? <laughs> FBI has just joined. FBI. Hello, FBI. Free pizza. Free pizza. Oh! Imagine that, eh? Free pizza for all. Except for those that don't want it. I think if you, I think I think you need a religious person like a priest or rabbi. Or am I, or Imran Dick? Free Willy too. Free pizza, free Palestine and pizza. No Hawaii. Well, lots of people really have a problem with that. If I, if, if I have some ham, if I had some ham and I was going to make a pizza, I honestly think that the pineapple's really good with it. I did not recycle the tin the foil top of the milk bottle last week. I seek forgiveness, Lord. Yeah, that's taking it really seriously. What would John Inman do? Oh, I don't need any religious person. I need Jesus, says Dord. Happy casual shoes. Can you please say hi to Gemma for a live? I've subscribed. Yes, I can. Hello, Gemma. And thank you as well. There is a place for Hawaiian Rainman. Bad books. Will Father Boaty accept repenting of sins? I doubt it, really. Very much doubt it. Kimberly Garza. Lots of smiley faces. And, yeah, well, actually, quite a lot of smiley faces. We need Reverend Boaty to confess. Uh, confession with Boaty. He would be just... That is a good idea. A surprise, actually, he's not tried that. You imagine that would be a really good live stream. That could possibly bring in a whole lot of uh, strange and wonderful and interesting people. Uh, what about Otzi, the rover man for a tag? Otzi? What about Otzi, the rover man for a tag? Says Chris Bowie. Logan Lay, are you true Brexit Greek geezer? Uh, well, no, not really. No, I, I, um, if you must, if you must know, uh, my vote was for Remain. Confessing and repenting is all very well, but you have to resolve. You have to resolve to be better and just not commit the same things, sins over again, again. Which is a good point. What do you think? How many genders are there? It doesn't matter what people want to be. There's still only two. You can't you can't mix them up. There isn't actually any more than two. Some don't want to be the one that they are, some do, and some wishes wish they could be neither, but it doesn't mean that they actually exist, does it? The ultimate signal, please son tombe. There are an infinite number. And uh, they're none at all. Depends on your viewpoint. Graham Chapman died for all sins. I'm sure they'll be fine. Lennon edits. Oh, right. I've seen you before, haven't I? Hello. How do we some tongue me? Tub me. Tub me. Big cap. Okay. Is it the fresh? Oh, right. Okay. They are fresh water fish. Yeah. They are tropical fish. Uh, so the, the tank is warm. But there's no salt in there. Tyler, Tyler Kennedy, what the what the F have I just walked into? Well, you decide. You can go somewhere else if you really want to do. Or you can stay here. I don't mind. You're welcome to stay. I don't think. Imagine if there's an awful lot of religious talk going on. That means that, let's consider this, that 
that could attract people who are looking for some sort of religious resolve, which are not really going to be the kind of people that can really help, are they? So maybe we should stop talking about this and talk about something that is more in my ballpark. Do you have pineapple on your pizza or gammon, etc., etc.? I would do it. Anything goes on a pizza. Mm -hmm. and, uh, oh. Anything goes on a pizza. If I was making a pizza tonight, I've got a bit of beef left over. I was going to do some really sort of peppery, um, peppery uh, hot chili beef to, for a pizza. That would work. Rodis, what's faster, a dolphin or a squirrel? Well, that's a good question. And the, the answer is very simple. A squirrel up a tree or a dolphin in the sea? And that's actually the proper answer. I suppose what you might be asking is, is, is a dolphin faster in the sea than a, a squirrel is running along the ground? Then it would actually be the dolphin. Uh, uh, right, Dick, yeah. If you, could, if you could wear the instantly recognisable spectacles of a famous person, who would you choose? Trust Windy to come up with these rather, rather excellent questions like that. Hmm. Well, I reckon I would go for um, somebody who doesn't wear glasses because I prefer if I didn't. Do you consider yourself a rational conservative? Asks uh, Dort. I would like to consider myself a certainly rational. Tyler Kennedy. No, I like it. Oh, thank you, Tyler Kennedy. Yes, you can stay. You're in heaven on earth, Tyler. <laughs> Spectacles. Hmm, how about John Lennon? Oh, that's a good one, actually. Oh, oh look, that's brilliant. I've caught up with the comments as well. That's always fantastic. Uh, Fiona Fernand uh, Fernandez. Can you say my name? Yes, Fiona Fernandez. Fiona, that is. The Godzilla family. Is mac and cheese better than pizza? I doubt it. I've never actually tried what you might call mac and cheese. Uh, it's the same thing as macaroni cheese, isn't it? But isn't mac and cheese what they call it in America? But in this country, we call it macaroni cheese, and it's quite horrible. Time to put the kid to bed. See you later, Captain. Okay. Um, <clears throat> thank you very much for joining me tonight, Pingu Concord. Can I say it, Viona? He did do. Uh, Jamster. Do you live in the UK? Yes, I do. I live in England, not actually Scotland, like lots of people have been suggesting. Um, no, <laughs> I wish I did, though. I like Scotland. Oh, uh, DiCaprio, DiCaprio more. You can tell you as a looker in your younger days. I'm sure you've painted a lot of walls, if you know what I mean. Gosh, that's rather suggestive. Well, wow, thank you very much. I think I look better now than what I did when I was younger. Tyler Kennedy says, it can't be as bad as Joe Rogan. He's pineapple and anchovies on a pizza. No, nah, no problem with any of that. Godzilla family is also from England. Have you watched Dune Part 2? Asks the Dord. And do you mean the film um, Dune with Sting, the uh, Frank Herbert uh, book Dune? Because I've read the first book and I watched the film, but I don't I didn't know there was another one. Uh, where are you from in England? asked Jamster. I'm from I'm sort of round Rochdale area. Uh, oh, right, okay, me too. Is England in Scotland? <laughs> uh, um, uh, do you like chorizo? Uh, it's all right. I don't mind it. Uh, squirrels. Uh, are, are the French over here? Asks Airborne Ace. They are. All roads lead to Sting. Psycho Skin. Do you eat escargot? No, I've never actually tried it. And Godzilla asked if you've watched the Godzilla movies. I've watched the very first one, the old black and white one. Right, now it is time. To, oh, I should have put the other on. I got a bit distracted reading comments there, and I did say I was going to put the bread in the oven at 10 to, and I haven't even warmed the oven up, so I can't do. Hello. Okay, don't worry. 
So I may as the thing is, if I read comments out, people keep coming back and asking asking questions. It's curious though that the ones that ask for shout outs a lot of the time, I think if I don't get to them straight away, they just do go away. And then the one thing that they really wanted, which is their name read out on a live stream, they don't even experience. That's a terrible, terrible shame. I'm sure I'll agree. A terrible shame indeed. They, oh, they filmed Waterloo Road in Rochdale. Yes, they did. Yeah, um, exactly. I never watched that. Bluey. Uh, lol. Cycle skin. But both those have gone the same way, though, aren't they? It's really difficult to do. But you can see my, how yellow my thumb is and my fingers from the, the turmeric. I eat escargot, but if I'm honest... I treat escargot as garlic buttery delivery mechanism. Right, I'm going. You all must eat snails. Bye. <laughs> That's quite funny. Have you heard about Juice World uh, and X X X X uh, Tension? I don't know. Buy cycle. Come again. That's the good. Say, good. Good show. Jamster is the film. They film Waterloo Road. Yeah, they do, yeah. What do you do for a job, asks Jamster. And you look... Ah, yeah. Well, if I was... You imagine you could cover yourself in turmeric and then you really wouldn't like a Simpsons character. Um, but my job, Jamster, is uh, trying to sell cars, trying to fix them a little bit, buying them, doing minor jobs on them, and doing YouTube. And... Um, I'll give you an idea of how well the car stuff's going. Uh, I actually make just as much money out of YouTube as I do selling cars, and I'm not that successful on YouTube. Are we off again? So with the um, I have some small people come downstairs. They should be going off to sleep quite soon, but they, they keep coming downstairs. But at least they're not being noisy, which is good. All right, I'm gone. One second. No volume. Has the volume gone? Is that everything okay? No, what's up? Oh, one sec. What you say? Yeah? Shall I come up in a bit? Okay, I'll come up and see you a bit, okay? Okay. It's his hair. It usually lots of volume. Ah, it's all that Scottish air. My earphone died. Oh, I see. M was that milk? Right. Do you own your own property? No, I don't. I'm having to rent. Texas boys, you English sound so... You Are you English? You sound English, yes. Yes, um, I am English. He's from Manchester, Texas boy. But I don't really have a Manchester accent. So that might be a bit confusing. Crack case is at Rustaville. Uh, uh, hello from whoever you are. I can't tell. I can't tell who you are, but hello. You are what's in the basket, please. Ah, you, 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 uh, you who? Right. So this, this stuff. Uh, uh, hang on. It's a box of keys. And some earphones and some cables and stuff like that. It's basically, so when I've, I've got an awful lot of cars to look after, and I've got a lot of keys to carry around, so I just bung them all in a box and carry them all in one go. The GOAT is here. UK and three Union Jacks. I'm from Texas, says Texas Boys. I, I thought he might have been. Um, when I was in America, some some American boys ran up and said, you sound like you're from London. We laughed because I don't. From Russia. Yes. Okay, welcome from Russia. You can you can write in English as well, which is um, interesting. 
Uh, so you could tell me really what your name actually says. How are all the crackheads in Rochdale, asks Tyler Kennedy. I don't know. I, well, I don't really associate with them. Uh, Skick says, Greater Manchester. When I was 17, I had a horse. <laughs> Sorry, that just sounded quite funny. Uh, Do you have a horse now? Texas asks Windy. Free Bronson. Uh, Do you have anything to say about Gaza? Asks Millie Adams. Nope, I'm not going to say anything about it. Jamster, can you lend me £1,365? Nope, uh, I can't. Uh, Are you going to mention Gaza? No, I'm not. (laughs) There's no need for me to mention it. I subbed, says the goat. Brilliant. Or ignoring my comments, says Millie Adams. I haven't ignored any comments. Died from... Oh, oh, that's the shame. Actually, I didn't mean to laugh at that. It was just uh, you saying that you had a, a ho- sort of horse. Um, well, yeah, right. Of a job I can have with that selling cars. Huh? Of can I? Oh, oh, right. I see. Yeah, no doubt it really. Uh, Z88K. I'd love to have a horse. Horses are cool. I think he's from Oldham, says Millie Adams. What, Gaza? Oh, hang on, are you talking about Gaza or Gaza? So it's very difficult to keep up with all this lot, you know. Sorry to hear about that. Yeah, I am too as well. Um, uh, It's never nice when animals, uh, pets die. Amar, are there any single and available women on here that can make pancakes? That's a good question, though, isn't it? We have cars, says Texas boys. What happened to the toilet in the yard? Nothing happened to it. It's still there. What a strange question. Did you did you assume it disappeared? Have you anything to say about Bronson? I have. Well, I used to have a cat called Bronson. And it was really, really chilled out. It was very relaxed. Do you have a truck? Free Harmerby. I have a G-Wagon. Ah. Are you from Oldham or Wigan? Ask, <clears throat> asks Millie Adams. And neither. Taylor the dog. Free peace, sweet. It would be cool that you bought a piranha. Um, <clears throat> I've got some. There's a couple of piranhas in there. Or at least they look like piranhas. Can you see them? Yeah, that, that one there, and there's another one there, they're really skitty. The bigger fish in there seems to be the most scared. A G-Wagon? In England, do you have gun licences, asks Texas boys. We don't bother with guns. Um, the widow with the... Well, I mean, some people do, but they're, they're bad people. Bad people have guns in, in England. In America, obviously, everybody has guns. Uh, but you know, in America, you have a gun to protect yourself. In this country, we we don't have guns, so we don't need to protect ourselves from people with guns. Uh, but usually it's farmers, though, of course. Tomorrow is the first day of Ramadan, says Zay. Cat called Bronson, yeah. Uh, the fish tank does team seem to get quite a lot of people's attention, actually. Only gun license for hunting and country folk. Yep. Mike Hunt, says Paul uh, John Paul Fitzgerald. Mike Hunt's not actually here. He, he's often... Oh, no. No, that's not Mike Hunt, is it? It's... Uh, what's that other guy called? That often comes in. Tyler Kennedy, we don't have... School shooting, no, that's true enough, yeah. Uh, Niago, Niagu Anka, can you say sui? Sui. Do you prefer braless women? He 
you can see him pondering that one, aren't you? My name is Ben Dover. That's interesting. Nice to have you here, Ben. And time to, uh, there we go, the oven is up to temperature, so let's bung in the traffic light red. And hopefully it will come out the same colour as it is currently, but just a bit more fluffy. Oh, I should have got the higher up the heat as well there. <laughs> it's quite easy doing a live stream with a fish tank because there's lots of people that really want to know about that. Thank you for joining me tonight, by the way, everyone. I'm going to say uh, I like them both pendulous knocking. Su uh, sui says Zay. Sui. PK, we all thought about Charlie Dimmock. Ah. That looks nice, uh, presumably talking about the bread. Are all these carbohydrates in this late uh, evening a good idea? No, they're not. They're not a good idea. And I keep on doing it. I keep on having things that I know I really shouldn't be doing. But it's, it, as I, I had um, a video a year back, I think it was, or six months or something like that, on this channel that said, it was called... <coughs> 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 He didn't say that's really difficult to spell. Sourdough, worth the indigestion. <clears throat> this is my number plate, says Jamster. Please read it out. Okay. N N E one four A B J. That's um uh, I, was, I was wondering whether that was a, a real number plate or not. Obviously, I'm not. I know what you're getting at, but I, I like to be awkward. Are you into bread? <laughs> Asks Tyler. Oh, there we go. They didn't say. Uh, finally, finally. Do you like football from uh, Nigu? No, I don't like football. Yolo. But Yolo's uh, Yolo's an acronym for something, isn't it? I can't remember what it is. Emma's says hi. And uh, I will be having beans on toast with Marmite at 3.30am probably. Marmite for it would be a good idea actually. I thought the yard toilet had, had come to an ultimately end one of your videos. I must... Ah, right, I see. Ah, oh, that's... Uh, <clears throat> yeah. No, it didn't. Uh, Z88 say, asks, are you a baker? I'm not a baker, but I can uh, make bread. And somebody's asking me what something's worth in... Uh, up there on... Messenger. In Texas, we have to put the bulls down. It's not pretty a pretty sight. That's why I make my brother do it. Do you live in a ranch? Uh, I sub, says Emma's. Thank you very much. Uh, Gigachad approved, says Gigachad. Thank you. You live once and a cup of tea. Amelia, hello. Hello, Amelia. Uh, DNA 710. What's up, dude? Long time no see. I presume that's somebody I know then. Ah, do you like watching beach volleyball? <laughs> <laughs> can't say. Ah, right, yes, sir. Uh, it, it, it is an acronym, isn't it? You only live once. Yeah, thank you very much. Because you're eating carbs late in the evening, does it really matter? We only get one life. And But the point being is that your life might be a bit shorter if you keep doing it. I live in a ranch. Well, my dad does. What's your favourite movie? Asks Zay. Um, uh, my favourite movie, I call it a movie, a film, I don't, you know, we don't really call them movies in the UK. Um, I've got quite a lot. One of my favourite ever films this is actually an American film that's really quite difficult to explain. And it's called Koyani Squatsy. Koyani Squatsy. Um, it's basically just music and the music by Philip Glass. Uh, who's the uh, American um, minimalist composer and video. And that's really it. 
is really quite amazing. Koyani, Koyani Scotsy. Are you from England? Asks Giga Chad, and I am, yes. Emma says who? Uh, to what? Right. What was it you asked before? I sub. Right. Do you have a <laughs> Do you have a condo? If you do, can you explain what a condo is? Uh, Texas boys, do you listen to country music? No, I've never been a fan of country music. Is it a musical? It's not a musical. No, it, it just has music in it. It's it's just music and and images. It's it's actually quite fascinating. Um, there's some more writing I can't read out. I don't understand it. Uh, Gracie Watson says, "Love the fish." Thank you, Gracie Watson. I think we already knew that, Jamster. If you're from Rochdale, do you do you uh, have drinks, frosty Frost, jacks? I don't know. What, oh, I don't know what that is. I'm afraid. Chris S. Scott, S. Scott. Good evening. Hello. Uh, wait. Are you old man Joe? The goat. Count the fish in your tank. I'm very curious. Um, there are thirty-eight. Uh, Isla. Is that Isla? Hi. Have you ever been to cattle country? No, I haven't. I've never been to America. I'd love to go one day, but I've. I just haven't been. Your Mount Rushmore of very musical artist. Ja Jasmine and Dan N Nagel. Hi. H and hello again from Isla. And uh, Palestine is, but no, neither. Karin Ratu. Uh, hey from Indonesia, Bali Puri. My uncle got hit by a bull in Spain and was hospitalized. It was terrible. It would be. Yeah, bulls are very very big and dangerous things, aren't they? Cats or dogs, asks Tyler. Um, I would like to do that for both. I like cats. I like dogs. They, they make me happy. Right, now. Um, <clears throat> One minute, just have a look at the fish and I'll be back down. Just two minutes, in fact. Ah, oh, well, we haven't got quite to the huge numbers that we had yesterday, but it's been very, very consistent with lots and lots of numbers, uh, which is rather wonderful. Oh, Windy Bill is going to bed now. Uh, Isla, what do you do for a living? I mess about with cars, cats. Uh, you can get a flight from England to Texas for $464. That's quite cheap, actually. Why do you look like that guy from the English car show? Which one's that? Maybe you talk about Project Nigel. Is it Nigel? Are you thinking about Project Nigel? Because that might be the one. Lots of people say it. Dog smell. Zine or Zane. Hello, 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 brother. Grace Watson Dodds, what do you do for a living? Thoughts on missing Malaysian plane? I didn't know there was one. I've not been, uh, I've not been keeping up with the news. I will dominate chat. Oh, that's rather excellent. Uh, Giga chat, right. Okay, now, what's Project Nigel? Uh, good question, Texas boys. Project Nigel is a YouTube channel that you should go and have a look at. And if you like videos, that's the one you should be subscribing to. It's uh, it's my other channel. Nigel is the one who got the Nigel is the one who got in an accident, right? No, no, no. 
No, definitely not. <laughs> right, I, I'm probably going to leave this now because uh, my little people are just off to bed. Uh, I'd like to say goodnight to them. And are you from Brighton? Do you know Matt Pat? Texas boys have subscribed to you. Thank you very much. And thank you, mate. I'll tell you what, I, I'm going to go now, but uh, I would ask if, if you've been watching this and liked it at all, do tickle that like button and just show me subscribe to the channel uh i, I don't do drugs tyler I, I just like a bit of beer um subscribe to the channel yeah and you know watch the videos subscribe to my other channel i'll do more it's been a, another fantastic evening um i was going to check the bread first before everybody went Oh, it's rising quite nicely. I shall take a picture of it and stick it on the, the community uh, notice board thing for you to have a look at if you want. Okay, so uh, thank you very much and join me again next time. Bye-bye.